Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my empties video. So basically we're going to be going through this massive bag that I've been collecting that won't even fit on frame for like, who knows at this point, six years, six months, it's all the same. And we're going to be going through every product that I've finished during this time to see if I would repurchase it or if I would pass on it. I really like these videos because if someone went through something, they probably know how they feel about it, you know? Like they know their opinions, they know if they're going to buy it again, and this is why I really like these videos. Because a person can recommend a product to you when they're first using it or like after like a month of using it, but it isn't like a ride or die product, you know? So that's why I like this video. Just in case you're curious, no, my burn is not healed yet. Yes, in fact, it is actually worse. It was bleeding the other day, and it still hurts. For those of you that weren't curious, now you know. Okay, so we're just going to dig in because I know this is going to take a hot minute, so hold on. So first, to start off with makeup wipes, I have a few right here um, that I did want to just mention. So I did try two different kinds of simple makeup wipes. Um, so I tried the Spotless Skin Quick Fix wipes and then the Simple Clear Skin Oil Balancing Simple Wipes. Um, I won't be repurchasing either one of these. I honestly, like, I don't know. I knew when I purchased these that I didn't really like Simple Wipes, but I wanted to try it because one of them was oil balancing and I have oily skin and the other was like spotless fix or whatever. And I was like, oh, that sounds nice because I have acne and acne spots and yeah, but they literally did nothing for my skin. So I'm not gonna repurchase those. Then I did go through this. This is from the Creme Shop. This is baking soda, makeup remover wipes that are supposed to like help brighten your skin. I honestly didn't notice a difference with these either. I won't be repurchasing these, although I do have another pack that I'm still going through because I bought two of the same ones. I did like them. They weren't bad. They just aren't my favorite. And then I do have two of these right here, which are the Equate Beauty Nighttime Soothing Makeup Remover Towelettes. These do come in a pack of two. Um, and so I actually do need to go repurchase these because these are my favorite makeup wipes. Like, I love these. These are so good. They're just fantastic. And I love the nighttime soothing ones just because, I don't know, I take my makeup off at night and I just feel like it. it's just like a spa night with these. So I will be repurchasing these. I do like the ones in the blue packaging as well, but the purple ones are my favorite. Okay, and I don't think, I don't think anyone's going to be surprised with the amount of dry shampoo that I go through. Is ridiculous okay so I think I think I got them all out here's my little hoard I have three of the like massive size Batiste dry shampoos in the tropical coconut exotic scent so I have three of these I have two of the massive size and one regular size of the original clean and classic Batiste dry shampoo I think it's safe to say at this point that I will be repurchasing this product um, and my favorite one is in the tropical scent, just in case you didn't know because it smells like coconuts and if you know me, you know I love everything coconut. But I will be repurchasing this, if not in the tropical scent, then probably the original scent or, I don't know, I may branch out, we'll see. But yes, I literally live off dry shampoo and coffee, so I have to purchase dry shampoo. And Batiste is my favorite. It's the best that I have found and the best that I have tried. It just like really does um, soak into my hair. You know there are times like I've tried dry shampoos that like... No matter what I do, I can't get that white cast out of my hair. They don't soak up my oils. They just look bad throughout the day. I never have that problem with Batiste. Batiste never fails me, so therefore, I will purchase more. I thought I got all of these out, but I actually missed uh, a makeup remover wipes, and these are from Neutrogena. The Equate ones are kind of like a dupe of the Neutrogena ones, and these are just like the normal makeup remover. I won't be repurchasing these. I do like these more than like the simple... Um, wipes and stuff like that, but um, for the price of the Walmart ones, I'd rather purchase those. But Neutrogena is good too. I know I have more than just these two. I guess I just didn't keep them just because I already had one of each. Um, but these are the Neutrogena Hydrogel Masks. These are like my favorite sheet masks ever. Um, so I have the Deep Clean Purifying one, which I liked this one. This one was pretty good. Um, but my favorite is the Hydro Boost Hydrating one. Oh my gosh, this is so incredible on your skin. I've talked about before that I love the feeling of like cold on my skin. Like the just like chilling, cold, amazing feel that these masks leave on your skin. It's just so good. Like I can't 
not use these. They're so good. Um, and they're only like $2.50 or something stupid like that. Inexpensive. Awesome. Would make for a great spa night in. Just put your hair up in a bun. Put one of these on. Take a little bubble bath. Watch some Netflix. Drink your wine. You know, like have a good night. That's what these are for. I will definitely be repurchasing more of these. I have like six of these in my drawer already um just being ready to be used but i did like the deep clean purifying one but if you're curious these are my favorite masks if you want to see a mask with maddie using these let me know in the comments down below i can do that for sure because i do these ones all the time then to keep it with like kind of skincare type stuff i did go through a pack of the elf hydrogel under eye masks um these are with purified water seaweed extract and licorice there were only three in here um but this is what they look like if you're curious i didn't really like these i don't know i don't really usually like under eye um masks i don't know there there are some that i've tried that were better like um more of the chilling effect more jelly type and that i felt like actually made a difference and hydrated i don't know these ones were okay I just don't think I'll repurchase them. So another skincare item I did go through is this 4th Ray Beauty Keep Clear Clarifying Tonic. Um, I got this and I went through it really quick. I use this religiously with my skincare. It had the most horrible scent, but I really did feel like it helped my skin. Um, I probably won't be picking up another one just because I do have a few that I do love. Um, if you watched my recent um favorites video i showed you that i have a a witch hazel that i really do like so i use that in place of this as a toner um but this was really nice if you were interested in looking for it and were kind of on the fence of if you should purchase it or not um i say go for it just be aware that there is a scent that might not suit your fancy um but it's a really good toner this i actually didn't go through but this is like in the I will never repurchase and I don't want anyone else to have it. But this is the e.l.f. Pore Clearing Glitter Peel Off Mask that has charcoal, witch hazel, and lavender. This was the most horrible experience I've ever put on my face. Don't do it. Don't buy it. It's not worth it. Like, if you really want to know, go look up a Masking with Maddie. I did one on this and it was horrible. Don't buy this. It's, it's, it's a scam. Don't spend your money. This is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate, the Intense Exfoliating Treatment. Now you're probably like, wow, that's expensive. And yeah, you're right, this is expensive. But I didn't pay for it because it was in like a, a box or something that they gave me. But I really did like this. It has such like micro fine like exfoliating things. It, it reminds me a lot of like the St. Ives now that they've reformulated it with like the little bitty grains in there that like exfoliate your face. Um, but this one to me smelled like Christmas and it had like a little tingle, like a burning sensation. Like it feels like it's doing something. I love that, the burning sensation where I feel like it's actually doing something. And it smelled so good like Christmas. I probably won't repurchase this just because, you know, it's $80 um, and I don't just have that kind of money lying around. So I probably won't purchase it um, any time in the future. Also, who knows, like I spend my money on stuff all the time. So uh, what I'm saying basically is it, it was really good. I enjoyed it. But if you don't have $80 to spend on it, it's not like a necessity. Another skincare item is this Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I got this. This is like a little mini one. It was a point perk at Sephora. And I got it and I used it and it actually made me purchase the full size balm, which is in my um, bathroom right now. So this made me purchase a full size. So I'll probably repurchase that after I go through it. So technically I've already repurchased it. So does that count? I don't know. I really do like this stuff. Um, I think I actually like their cleansing oil a little bit better. I think I've decided I like oils better than the balm, but the balm turns into an oil, so I don't know. It's all the same. It takes off your makeup. It does a great job, and that's all I have to say. This is a moisturizer I went through. This was from the brand Kiehl's, and it was the Ultra Facial Oil-Free Gel Cream Fresh Hydration for Normal to Oily Skin Types. This is what the jar looks like right here. I really, really enjoyed this. thought it was really nice, especially for the oily skin. It has that gel effect, which is my favorite type of moisturizer, and it felt really hydrating and nourishing to the skin. It did have that, like, cooling effect, too, which is something I love. And I don't know. I really did enjoy this. I... I mean, I haven't thought about repurchasing it just because I have a few other moisturizers that I want to go through before I make any more purchases, but I do think it's something I might look into purchasing in the future because I really did enjoy this. Another moisturizer that is my ride or die moisturizer is this. This is from Clean and Clear. This is the Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. Okay, y'all. This is amazing. It has the most amazing cooling effect you will ever put on your face. And it's so good for oily skin. I cannot stress that enough. I love this moisturizer. I use it 
all the time. It's usually my morning moisturizer just because I feel like it helps wake me up a little bit more, you know? And I have another one, plus I'm trying to go through all my moisturizers. So I have another one that I use at nighttime, but this one like really wakes me up. It refreshes my skin. It really hydrates and plumps the skin ready for the day, you know? I have to repurchase this every time. So I have like two backups already in my drawer. So I will forever repurchase this. Okay, so moving on to body care for a minute because I want to put this down. This is from Shea Moisture. It's the Daily Defense Hand and Body Scrub. So this is just a scrub and I didn't like it. I mean, it was okay, but I will never repurchase it. Um, it smelled kind of weird. Uh, it wasn't my favorite. I have some others that I enjoy more than this one. Like, it wasn't bad, but I'm not going to ever repurchase. I know I went through more than this, but I do have two body creams from Bath & Body Works. So, first off, this is Bonfire Bash. This is my favorite scent they have ever created in my entire life. They need to keep this going for years and years to come because I will repurchase every year. Bath & Body Works does this horrible thing to me where they create a scent that I love and then they don't bring it back. So, I'm kind of nervous about that. And then this one was the Bali Black Coconut Sands. This one was incredible for summertime. This one does smell just like coconut and a little kind of like sexy coconut. Does that make sense? I don't know. I went through one of these and I already have a backup. So that tells you I love it. I went through this Peach and Honey Almond Shower Gel. This is from Bath & Body Works as well. This one smelled really good. Um, I think this is one of those products that they like made and like won't ever bring back but if they did i probably would repurchase it because i really did enjoy that scent and then moving on to some hair care items i have a few things so this is from garnier fructis this is a nourishing treat one minute hair mask this is the coconut extract version um i really did like this it was an inexpensive price and i felt like it did moisturize my hair however i do want to say that if you do have color treated hair i feel like it has stripped the color out of my hair and yes i know it does not say color safe and that's probably stupid on my part for using it but I did just want to give like a heads up because there are other products that I use that aren't color safe that don't strip the color out of my hair, but I feel like this kind of did. But if you don't have color treated hair and you want to use this, it was really great, really moisturizing, and it smells delicious. They have a few different other scents of this one, um, but this is the only one I've tried and I, I did enjoy it. Another hair mask that I went through is from um, Matrix or Biolage. This is the Hydra Source Mask for Dry Hair. Um, this is what it looks like right here. It's a giant tub. It was, it's like a high-end brand, more high-end. They sell it at Ulta. This was really nice. I really enjoyed this hair mask. It made my hair feel super nourished, silky soft, smooth, all the things that you want in a hair mask. Um, however, I don't think I'll repurchase it just because I love the one from Briogeo and I think I'll repurchase that one over this one. If you're looking to try a new hair mask, this is a good one. Like, I would consider considering this. But if you haven't tried the Briogeo one yet, try that one first. And if you hate that one, which I highly doubt you will, then I would try this one because it's pretty good too. Speaking of the Briogeo one, I had Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This is like the smaller version, the five ounce one. That's not in like the Scoopy tub. I just talked about it. This is my favorite hair mask. I've already repurchased it. It's in my shower and I'm using it on my hair. I love this. It just really nourishes my hair and I feel like it really helps with like split ends and damage and just like restoring my hair back to where it needs to be. Another Briogeo hair product I went through is this Rosarco Milk. This is a reparative leave-in conditioning spray. I really enjoyed this stuff. Like I really loved it. Um, I need to repurchase another one when the sale comes or like one or two because I honestly went through this pretty quickly. I know it doesn't claim this on the bottle or anywhere, um, but it really helped with my natural curls to bring them back to life. I noticed that every time that I was using this one because I was alternating between two different ones um, but every time I use this one it really helped my curls and like held them in place and my curls struggle sometimes to be natural and like cute curls but I really feel like this helped with it so curly girls out there if you use this let me know does it help your curls or am I crazy or is my hair crazy and the last hair product I have is another one from Garnier this is the pure clean detangler and air dry with aloe extract I use a detangler on my hair just because my hair tangles so easily it's very fine and very thin and I feel like it tangles so quickly that out of the shower I always put this on and then comb through my hair I don't know that I'll pick up this particular one again I did enjoy it however it started making my hair really oily towards the end and I don't know if I was doing something different or if like 
the product got old or something, I don't know, but it started making my hair look really oily and greasy and I didn't really like that. But at the beginning it was really nice. I do want to say that I don't ever spray it in the top of my hair though. Anything I ever spray into my hair I do from like the ears down um, just because I already naturally have oily hair and I don't want to add more to the scalp and make it more oily. So. I did just want to mention that. Another body care item I forgot to mention a minute ago is this Physicians Formula Body Butter. Um, I was super excited for this when they put this in like a little set, but it doesn't smell like the bronzer to me. And when I put it on, I always felt like I smelled like dirty feet. So this isn't something I would ever repurchase. Um, I don't even think you can purchase it on its own. It usually comes in sets, but I don't know I didn't feel very moisturized with this and I didn't like the smell I smelled like dirty feet it was not a good time I did want to mention this quickly before we got into all the makeup that is sitting here in front of me this is a deodorant that I did go through um, this is from the brand native and it is the coconut and vanilla it's paraben free and aluminum free I've been trying to switch to um, aluminum free deodorants because of the things that they can cause and just more of a natural deodorant kind of area and this is my favorite one I've been through so far I didn't put any of the other ones in here, um, but I've tried some like Schmitz, is that what it's called? There's been a few others that I've tried too, but nothing compares to this one and I've already repurchased it, so this one for the win. And then one more thing, um, two hand creams. I know I've been through more than two hand creams, but Bath & Body Works is my favorite hand cream. I've already said that before. This scent was specifically in Pumpkin Cupcake, but I love them all. And then this is a Toka one. I got this in like a set from TJ Maxx and honestly I wasn't impressed. It doesn't moisturize my hands. Um, in fact, every time I put it on, I felt like I need to put it on again. And there's no point in, in using a product that's like that if it doesn't do anything for you. Okay, and the rest of this is all makeup it looks like. Okay, so I went through a foundation and you can see a little bit still sliding. Ew, that's sliding so fast. It freaks me out. Okay. This is from Essence. This is the Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup Healthy Glow. I love this stuff. I went through a full bottle and then I bought two backups because I needed it in my life. And plus they got rid of it from Ulta and I don't know if I can purchase it anymore. But if you find this, you need to purchase it. They only have four shades, so it kind of sucks. But if one of the shades fits you, I would suggest picking it up. It makes your skin look so healthy and so glowy and beautiful and awake and... I can't rave about this enough. I love this. This is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer, and I had mine in the shade CW02. I remember I did like this concealer. It was it was decent, but it's definitely not my favorite, and I probably won't pick it up again. So then next I have this Revolution Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I really actually do like this one. Everyone says it's a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape, but I didn't really think so. I liked this one, but I didn't think it was... Um, similar to Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I did enjoy this one. It was in the shade C1 and I might repurchase it in the future but right now I have a lot of concealers I need to go through. It, it's not my absolute favorite. My absolute favorite drugstore would probably be Maybelline Fit Me. Um, so I don't know. I may repurchase it. It's, it's good. Um, but it's not my favorite. Then I have this one from Ulta Beauty. This is the full coverage liquid concealer and it's also waterproof and I have mine in the shade Fair Neutral. Their shades are a little weird for this one. This one was like super white on my under eyes but the next one up was way too dark for me so there's no way I could have used it. Um, I actually really did enjoy this concealer. A lot of people have said that it is similar to Tarte Shape Tape as well. Um, I kind of get that vibe more from this one than from the Makeup Revolution but Again, it's all kind of like personal preference and also product wears differently on everybody's skin. So there's that factor to play into as well. But I did enjoy this concealer and I do actually have a backup of it already in my drawer that I need to go through. I don't think it's something that I would purchase after I go through the other one. Just because, again, like I've said, there are other concealers that I do love a little more than this. But it is one to look into and check out if you're looking for some cheaper option to maybe like Tarte Shape Tape or something like that. And then speaking of the devil, here is Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, my love, my true love. This is in the shade Light. Um, I have not purchased another one since I went through this one, which was a while ago, just because I am poor and I didn't have enough money for it. I will be repurchasing it because the sale for Ulta is coming up soon and I might buy like two, three, ten, I don't know. I will buy a lot of them because I need this back in my life. Yes, I will repurchase it. It's just a matter of when will I repurchase it. And then the last one that I do have is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer that lasts up for 12 hours and is waterproof. I love this concealer as well. This is one that I will probably always repurchase. This one and Fit Me, like, amazing. I, I really love this concealer. I already have two in my drawer and I'm going through them and 
I think this is one that will stick with me for a long time and I'll keep repurchasing. Okay, I miss primers category. So we're going back to primers. So I went through this one. This is the Wet n Wild Face Primer, the matte version. Um, I've repurchased this multiple times in the past, but however, I think I'm going to stop repurchasing the matte version um, only because at this point in my life, I'm getting a little less oily and I like a little more glow or natural glow to my skin. So I've stopped using matte primers and matte foundations and matte setting sprays. So I'll use like a pore filling primer and then like a semi matte foundation. That way it lets my natural oils peek through and I just look a little more dewy because I think like when I use all matte stuff, I feel like my face looks dead and like lacks a certain energy or aliveness. That's just my opinion on my own face. Um, so long story short, I probably won't repurchase this one. However, they do have like the dewy version and the like regular primer that I do love as well. And then I went through this one, which is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. Again, same thing as this one. I won't repurchase it just because of the whole matte situation. Although I really did enjoy this primer just because it was cooling, but it was also mattifying at the same time. This is a really nice primer as well, and it smells great. And if you're looking for a high-end primer, that is mattifying and cooling and cool in general and smells good then this this might be your guy so i've gone through plenty of these in the past and i don't know where all of them are but here's one of them this is the rimmel stay matte powder and i always get mine in the transparent shade um, as you can see there's literally nothing left um, I used to go through these like water because I would set my face every time but now like I've said I've kind of stepped back away from like completely matte face and um, I only usually use this for my under eyes to set them now um, however this is a great powder for oily skin if you need it and need something like cheap but like that does the job and then I went through this Too Faced Peach Perfect what is this? Uh, mattifying Loose Setting Powder. I did enjoy this powder. It took me a long time to get through it all. Um, but it smelled really great. It tasted good. I know you're not supposed to eat it, but it did. And um, it did its job. It kept me matte. I won't repurchase because I don't go through powders like I used to. And because, I don't know, I feel like there are some drugstore powders that do the same thing or even better for way cheaper than this. I have two of these e.l.f. brow pencils. Uh, these are like the chubbier ones in the white container and these are both in the shade neutral brown. This is my favorite brow pencil ever made. These are like $2 a piece I think and I will forever repurchase these. And then I have this which is the L'Oreal uh, Brow Stylist Plumper. I would repurchase this but they discontinued it on me because they hate me but it is my favorite brow gel ever and I can no longer get it. If it was still available, I would repurchase. Moving on to mascaras, there are a few to talk about. So the uh, Lancome Monsieur Big, this is my favorite high-end mascara ever. I love this stuff. I in fact already repurchased it um, and I probably will always repurchase it just because it's such a good mascara and I really do like it. It gives you so much volume and it's super black and coats the lashes really well and Every time I wear it, people think I have on falsies, but no, nope, it's just this great mascara. Then I have this Wonder, Ble Wonder Beauty Un Unlashed? Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. I didn't really like this one. It was in a boxy charm, but I did go through it because I'm not going to waste my product. It wasn't my favorite. It did its job. It was okay. It was like mediocre, you know, but it's not, it's not anything to write home about and it's nothing that I will probably repurchase. And then this is the Benefit Roller Lash, the last one that I went through. I really actually liked this mascara, but there are other ones that I like more than this, um, like the Lancome Monsieur Big, and then from like the drugstore there are even ones that I love, such as like the Essence one, and the ColourPop one are great, and there are a few by CoverGirl that I really love. Um, so to me, it's not really worth it to purchase this when I can get the same effect from other brands at a cheaper price, but it was a good mascara, and it did its job. I feel like I keep saying that because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings if they like it or whatever. Okay, next two eyeliners that I went through is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Ooh, this was a long time ago I went through this. Um, this was in the shade Trooper. It's waterproof. It was a really nice eyeliner. I would never repurchase it just because I found dupes at the drugstore um, that do uh, the same job or better. 
and I felt like mine dried out really quick even though I put the cap on it really well. And then this one is the Physicians Formula Ultra Black Eye Booster. I really do like this eyeliner and I've already repurchased it. Um, and probably will continue to. And then a setting spray that I did go through is this Wet n Wild Matte Finish Setting Spray. Again, like I've said, I probably won't repurchase it just because of the whole matte business, but I did enjoy the setting spray while I had it. And then I do have two chapsticks that I went through that I wanted to share. I think I've been through more than this, but who knows. Um, I went through the Burt's Bees Medicated one. I love Burt's Bees chapsticks just because they give you that burn and they feel so incredible on your lips. Um, I wouldn't repurchase the Medicated one because I like the regular one better, but I found a dupe and you're welcome if you're looking for dupes for chapstick that's like three dollars. This is from the brand Chapstick and this is then the candy cane version. This has the same burn as the Burt's Bees do. In fact, I actually like it better and it's only a dollar, so like who can beat a dollar? I'm not gonna pay three dollars anymore when I can get this one for a dollar and it's better. We finally made it to the end. There's nothing left in there, but there is a giant mess on my floor waiting to be cleaned up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. Let me know down below what you guys have gone through that you will always repurchase or anything in here that you were like, oh my gosh, that's one thing that I always repurchase too. Let me know down below because I really do enjoy getting to communicate with you guys. Again, thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you guys are having a blessed day or night wherever you are and I will catch you guys in my next video. Now, I've got to clean up this giant mess. I'm sure you don't want to see it. I don't even want to see it. Okay, I need to go and just clean. I'm procrastinating.